honorary fellow is EFLA's highest award and is conferred on a person who has delivered long and distinguished services to EFLA and the global library field. The award of EFLA honorary fellows is conferred on Gloria Perez Salmoron. Gloria Perez Salmoron marked EFLA with her own outstanding personality, ensuring that through the global vision process and development of the EFLA strategy 2019 to 2024, everyone felt included and engaged in the Federation's work. A proven ability to bring together different parts of the library world helped Gloria change mindsets and engender enthusiasm for a positive and proactive attitude to the future for libraries. In her long and varied professional career, Gloria has been involved in library services and management at all levels, from local public libraries to Spain's highest position as director of the Spanish National Library, the Biblioteca Nacional de España. Through her association work as president of the Spanish Library Federation, FESAPIT, and at the European and global levels, she has demonstrated her capacity to motivate the profession. A particular component of her leadership has been her work with politicians, an area of engagement that doesn't always come easily to the field. Gloria opened the eyes of many to the importance of advocacy and built confidence and skills among professionals and encouraged them to engage themselves. Her reminder to show that library is an investment, not a cost, has inspired colleagues to measure impact and speak out. Gloria served EFLA as a member of the Public Libraries Section Standing Committee from 2005 to 2012, and as a member of the Governing Board from 2013 to 2017. She became EFLA's first Hispanophone president in 2017, and created a very strong legacy of working to include professionals from countries which do not use English as a first language. Standing as an example to them, she made IFLA a reality for library associations and libraries in the Latin America and Caribbean region, leading to an increased involvement within IFLA and strengthening the organization as a whole. Applying her presidential theme of libraries' motors of change, Gloria underlined her conviction that mobilized, organized, and empowered libraries to improve the lives of their communities and deliver on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. She oversaw the delivery of IFLA's global vision process, a global discussion on opportunities for libraries where all were welcome and motivated to contribute. Her tireless engagement in workshops, conferences, and other events around the world underpinned an unprecedented mobilization of the global library field with a new sense of belonging and atmosphere across our organization. From the results of the global vision came the EFLA strategy 2019 to 2024, a document not only for EFLA, but for the library field as a whole, a catalyst for a new energy, a new alignment of combined efforts. Be it through new ways of thinking, innovative technology, or extending inclusion, Gloria's passion to leave a positive impact has been a constant threat. She has instilled optimism in new library leaders in the ability of libraries to thrive and being a constant and encouraging ambassador of an outward-looking, internationally orientated approach. The global library field and IFLA have benefited immensely from her energy and drive, making Gloria Perez Salmon a most worthy recipient of IFLA's highest honor of honorary fellow. Allow me here some personal notes. For me, as Secretary General and the whole IFLA team, it was an enormous pleasure, honor, and privilege to work with you. I ask Gloria to say a few words. Madam President, Secretary General, dear colleagues, hola. My name is Gloria Perez Salmiron, and I'm a librarian. I was born and I live in Barcelona, 
and I'm here today, humbly, grateful for the trust you have placed in me, aware of the efforts made by those who preceded me. I am very honored to receive IFLA's honorary fellowship. My first words, art of gratitude to all people who made this honor possible, and to the members of the executive committee who have voted in favor of awarding it on my person. Just two years ago in Athens, in my farewell speech as IFLA president 2017-2019, I spoke of the social commitment of librarians to respond of, to the information needs of our communities. I especially mentioned our willingness to achieve sustainable development, so well expressed in the 2030 Agenda and the SDGs, through meaningful access to information facilitated from libraries, from all type of libraries, and the need to closely observe global threats such as climate change. I also mentioned epidemics. At that time, we could not imagine the tremendous future that haunted us with a global pandemic, with that total fact that COVID-19 has caused which has changed our lives forever. I continue to persevere in this idea that today I consider more important than ever. Society will value library services if we are able to respond to people's information needs. And now, more than ever, I believe that we have two primary challenges to meet. To simplify them in this short message, from my point of view as librarian, I think they are to be able to work to give meaningful access to information to everyone without leaving no one, anyone behind. In order to serve people with reliable, clear and accurate information that saves lives and to be able to advocate at all levels so that people have connectivity and can access information wherever they may be. We are the guardians of this legacy. Guided again by these principles, we can confront these new threats that demand even greater efforts, more cooperation and more understanding of the needs of our society. The pandemics has starkly shown us something that we had already included in our global vision. Non-library is an island. Our networking and collaborative spirit strengthen the library field and the service we offer to our communities. Please notice that our challenges may now be new. The instruments with which we will deal with them may be new as well, but we maintain the values of our success depends on equality, freedom, justice, peace and progress, the values that democracy is built on. In addition, beyond our shared values, I want to argue that there is also a shared sense of mission. Others are to ju not to just to defend what we have achieved, but to go further, to do more. In this journey, we are not alone. IFLA is guiding us in such high commitment. If a strategy put together by thousands of librarians is our guiding star. Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. We can't expect the world to change if we do, don't do it ourselves. We also know that libraries are an investment. We are going to set ourselves this goal to convince governments of such a good cause with conviction the convention of those who are decision makers, because in our field, we are the greatest experts. And we are going to set this goal to convince decision makers that without investment in libraries, there is not social progress. This is my call. The call to accelerate the motors of change that libraries are. Thank you for considering my work and recognizing its value. It's a pleasure to receive this recognition. It makes me tremendously happy. 
I will continue to reap the best of my work from my experience, hoping to serve IFLA's community's deserves. I love to serve IFLA, and I will continue serving IFLA, and life is with pleasure to return this high honor. Thank you for your time, and I hope to be able to personally greet you all next year. Take care, be safe, see you soon. Thank you. Gloria, I am so delighted to be the one to confer the award of IFLA Honorary Fellow on you. IFLA, and particularly the Latin American and Caribbean region, have benefited so greatly from your expertise energy and warmth. Congratulations on this recognition and very well deserved honour.